Yeah, Jane is great. Um, young, eager to learn. Um, again, she's uh, she's uh, that personality that's a little cautious and uh, afraid to make mistakes, which is is good, refreshing. Um, so you know you can give her tasks with confidence, knowing she's going to check and double check uh, her work. Sometimes you, she needs a little push not to triple check her work, and you know we got to keep things moving, right? But, uh, you know, again, refreshing. She, I think she does understand um, time is what's going to make her better. And she's up for every challenge she gets and, and understands that every task is a, is a learning event, basically. Uh, doing a great job at, at retaining that and, and trying to roll it into the next, the next challenge. Jane is very... Uh, interested in what actually happens in the shop so at exceed obviously we're all under one roof so the engineering staff you walk through the door you're in the shop floor um, Jane has been out on the shop floor you know cleaning polishing plumbing blocks installing pipe plugs and you know just touching and feeling the steel and understanding what's in that model and, and it coming to life. So pushing her and carrying her out into the shop and making her see those, I think, is uh, definitely made things click. Again, uh, she is definitely a visual learner. Um, so seeing, touching, feeling the application, you know, I can, I can talk through it. And sometimes you can see um, maybe, you know, my description isn't, isn't resonating or it's not clicking. But when I can walk her out into the shop and show it to her, have her touch it, feel it, you see the light bulb go off. And, you know, I've also connected Jane with Jay Stuhler, one of our mold makers that manages the apprenticeship program on the floor. So again, if, if we're a little uh, light on engineering work, she knows she'll go see Jay and kind of, is there anything I can help with, assemble, and, you know, that time. Uh, on the on the shop floor and spending time with the mold makers just watching them assemble or disassemble a mold is the practical hands-on experience that connects uh, the design you know into reality mostly uh, again spending time and and open communication um, you know Jane and I have had some some great experiences um, I've, you know, pushed her to uh, limits, understood where some of those limits are. Can you share an example? Um, uh, no, just uh, again, criticism. She, it's like I said, any personality, not just Jane, but, uh, you know, I used to run the shop floor at Exceed as well. And there are people that have their own internal drive, and if they make a mistake, it, it eats them up inside. Um, and there's people that can make a mistake and for some reason doesn't seem to register. Uh, she's one that, again, she knows when, when a mistake happens. She takes that to heart and wants to know how to not make that mistake again. Jane has great personal. Again, that goes back from everything from the, the checking and double checking and, and not wanting to make mistakes or be wrong to, you know, when they happen, you, you can tell. She, she knows it was her mistake. She wants to find the resolution, whether it's working with myself, whether it's working with the, the staff on the shop floor to come up with that resolution. What do you need me to do? What do you need me to model? What do you need me to fix? What steel can I order? Um, you know, she automatically has that self-drive to acknowledge uh, her mistakes and and move forward on you know how I can be part of the correction. Yeah, you know we definitely and and the culture of curiosity. I mean, it really again, J Jane is going to thrive in it because she has that curiosity, and that is her 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 comfort and curiosity into going into the shop and exploring um, other jobs, even old jobs. I, I found her going through historical jobs in the past, just to, to open them up, look at them, try to understand that. So so things like that, that self-drive and curiosity is what's gonna make her 
uh, growth exponential, meaning she's not waiting for the next uh, opportunity. She's going back and looking at some of the past opportunities and trying to learn from those as well. Um, that curiosity, going out on the shop floor, seeing the mold makers, being involved with some of the mold samples, that curiosity helps.